introduction to Buddhist archaeological sites. Buddhist heritage sites are spread all over India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Central Asia and China. All over India, Buddhist archaeological sites are found and new sites are being discovered. In the state of Madhya Pradesh, where Emperor Ashoka was a governor of Ujjain, there are many prominent Buddhist sites that date back to 300 before Common Era and even before that period. Buddhism reached this region at the time of the Buddha itself. The Sanji Buddhist complex and Bharat Buddhist sites are popular and world-renowned Buddhist sites. There are Buddhist rock cut caves all over Madhya Pradesh. Bhag Buddhist caves are significant for their sublime paintings and sculptures. The Buddhist rock temples in India have appeared around the 3rd century before Common Era. No textual references are available to fix the dates of the Bhag Buddhist caves which are estimated at about 6th or 7th century era. There are no inscriptions available to ascertain the dates. There is a solitary alphabet in Dhamma Lipi that remains on a destroyed painting. It is Ka. Based on that, paleographically, the period of the Bhag Buddhist caves is fixed at 6th or 7th century common era. The architectural and artistic features also support this claim of a possible period of the Bhag Buddhist caves. The caves are located in the present-day Madhya Pradesh in India and in erstwhile Kualio, a princely state. They are 87 miles away from military headquarters of war. They are carved in sandstone hill on the southern side of the Vindhyas and are located at the left bank tributary of river Narmada, known as Bhagini River. The Bhag Buddhist caves can be classified as the Mahayana caves, but interestingly, the centerpiece of worship is the stupa. Bodhisattva Maitri and Bodhisattva Avlokiteshwara are also carved in the Bhag Buddhist caves. There are floral paintings with centrality to white lily or white lotus. They are quite elaborate. They suggest a possible connection with the Sadhamma Pundarik Sutta, the Lotus Sutra, and hence a strong center of Mahayana Buddhism. caves and they are not contiguous. Cave 1, nothing is left of cave 1. Cave 2 are residential and the pillars have spiral fluting. It has two Buddha's images sculpted in the rock, both surrounded by the Bodhisattvas. Cave 3 is also residential and has painted Buddha in it. Cave 4 there are and were many paintings here. It was known to the locals as Rang Mahal, the Palace of Colors. 
K5, adjoining K4 have paintings too. Cave number 5 and 6 are still left. However, nothing is left of cave number 7, 8 and 9. In the Bagh Buddhist cave complex, the sculptures of Naga feature prominently. There is a rock cut Naga shrine in the Bagh Buddhist caves. Though the Nagas and Yakshas in the form of Hariti are called primitive deities. They represent human races according to Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. There is a seven-fold hooded cobra sculpture in the Bagh Buddhist caves. The image of Nagaraja features prominently in the Ajanta caves as well as in the Bagh Buddhist caves.
paintings only in the three places in the world the buddhist wall paintings can be found in substantial form they are bag ajanta sigiriya present day sri lanka in all other places the wall paintings have perished unlike ajanta the bag paintings are executed as a well thought out plan the paintings at both bag and ajanta were executed in the same period the paintings in bag buddhist caves were done at one time and like ajanta caves where the paintings were done in the course of the time however in bag the first coating was done in a careless manner in both bag and ajanta the style of paintings is tempera style and not the fresco style the processes the color and the artistry is the same in the both bag and the ajanta paintings according to meena talim the scholar and the researchers in with the studies the artists have kept the proper balance between art and propagation of philosophy it is very difficult perhaps to find an artist and a propagator at one and the same place Many famous painters from India were employed by the Maharajas of Kwalio in the 1920s to produce replicas of the paintings of Bag. They were Nandlal Bose, A. K. Haldar, Surendranath Kaur, A. B. Bhosle, B. A. Apte, M. S. Pan, and Mr. Chaktap. The world-renowned Indian painter Mukul Chandra De. declared his visit to the bag buddhist caves as a pilgrimage the bag paintings were exhibited in the british museum in 1925 According to art historians, the bark paintings were done by the masters of expressional form. The artists at Bark gave an emotional voice to their paintings and sculptures. There is a rhythmic flow. The paintings in Bark are more human-centric, unlike in Ajanta, which are more religious in nature. The most of the paintings are smoked out of their existence. their grandeur still remains the bag buddhist caves are unique they are carved in the sandstone hills the sandstone structures are prone to fast erosion so very little time is left to save this glorious buddhist heritage sites professor john anderson described the sad condition of the bag caves in 1972 The caves were in a very real sense disintegrating before our eyes. Either the monumental remains had to be studied as soon as possible or else not at all. <laughs> 